Hi, and welcome to another Gorilla Without a Dime. This time, cookies. So, cookies, or kookaloruses. Um, they were originally for like stagecraft, for, you know, doing plays and stuff and putting scenes in the backgrounds, like everything from mountains to, you know, just breaking up the, the background to cityscapes. Um, those are commonly used in something called a Lico, and they're metal, and you can cut them out, cut them out around to fit in, or just do what I did and bend them over and slide them in. They're about two to God only knows, you know, as crazy as you want to get. You can have custom ones done. Uh, a lot of corporate conventions, they put their logo in a cookie, and then they have it projected up on... Uh, on the curtains, that kind of thing. Um, for other reasons, you'd use cookies. Uh, something like this, to do like a little background breakup, where uh, you see that a lot in TV shows, um, you know, interview shows like 20, 20, 60 minutes, that kind of stuff, where you got like a bookcase in the background or a commercial where you got a bookcase in the background. And if you just lit up the books, you know, you might want to put a slash like that. But if you want more than just a slash across it, um, you want to use a cookie. And you can make them yourself. You can make a little hand one like this that I did. And this was with uh, foam core or foam board. Uh, but you see after a while it starts to break and fall apart. But it still works really good, you know. And see, so you can use it for dramatic stuff like that. You know, say you want to get a little, like, uh, I am Batman, you know, that kind of thing. Um, you can also use, to make that, you can make it out of black wrap. It's about, uh, I think it's seven, eight bucks a roll, but you know, you got to order it and that kind of stuff, uh, unless you have a photo place that sells that kind of stuff. Um, that's one. The other I was talking about uses a foam board. You can usually get this at art supply places or any place that sells art supplies. Uh, unfortunately, a little board like this, uh, what's this, uh, 20 by 30, 3 16 inch. Um, this costs like five, six bucks, man. Um, a DP used it to create balance, but that's another episode. Anyway. And like I said, what I did was I took a piece of foam core, um, foam board, foam core, depending on where you're from, potato, potato. Um, and then I took a clothes hanger in the true gorilla way and ran it around in here. Ton of gaff tape. Gaff tape can solve the world. Um, but anyway, so that's another way of doing it. Then, I know you're going to hear it. Ready? Coroplast, that's right, Coroplast. Um, for just what, God, uh, 11 bucks, you can get a four by eight sheet, black, white, whatever. Uh, the white here I'm using to help kick a little extra bounce. Uh, again, another episode. But this one, ta-da, there you go, see? Got all kinds of cool little breakups here. You can do all kinds of neat little things and make all kinds of creatures and figures and things like that, you see, and do a breakup, see, and the further you get away from an object, you notice the breakup is very soft. The closer you get to the object, the harder the breakup. So that's a little gorilla quick tip. Um, closer the object is to what it's hitting, the harder the shadow. The further away, the softer the shadow. So there you go, that's that. So that's cookies. I'm Tom Leskowski. This is Gorilla Without a Dime on a digital reel. Please, while you're here, subscribe. And I want to thank you very much to everybody who has supported and backed us and gotten behind us. And please, always comment. Your comments are very valuable. Have a great day and a better tomorrow.